get your soul in the mind If you wanna test me, I'm sure you'll find The things I'll teach you, be sure to beat you but Nevertheless, you'll get a lesson from teacher Now kick, kick, punch, punch, jump, tap, block, block Once more now, kick, kick, punch, punch, jump, tap, and block, block if you thought WWE 2K20 was garbage, well, it is. And actually, if I'm being perfectly honest, this one is marginally better. But not by much, because WWE 2K Battlegrounds is still hot trash. It is a cartoony uh, take on the WWE universe, that's what they like to call it, because everything in WWE has to be a cringe-inducing brand name. Up to and including the talent, and what wonderful talent we have in WWE 2K Battlegrounds. All the hits, all the stars, the campaign such that it is, is all about Paul Heyman putting together a ragtag new way of doing wrestling, which is like the old way of doing wrestling but you can feed wrestlers to alligators, which is hilarious until you remember that if you could get away with it, WWE Chairman Vince McMahon would, in real life, feed his talent to alligators. Wouldn't be the first time he's been responsible for the death of a wrestler, and he still won't give him bloody health insurance. Anyway, as you fight your way through WWE 2K Battlegrounds, you can find and fight and unlock such legendary talent as Luke Gallows recently let go from WWE. WWE. Carl Anderson recently let go from WWE. Jake the Snake Roberts, who is currently appearing on rival television program AEW Dynamite. So, so he's on, he's in different wrestling. And who could forget Alicia Fox, who's been gone from the company since 2019. So what I'm saying is the game has a very up-to-date roster full of current superstars, none of whom you'd actually recognize if they weren't wearing familiar outfits and t-shirts because none of them seem to actually resemble the WWE superstars they're allegedly based on. I mean, what's that? This is what 2K thinks Baron Corbin looks like. He doesn't. He doesn't fucking look like this. They've gone with this cute and quirky, cartoony, exaggerated style, uh, the kind of style that you would see in one of the many, many shitey mobile WWE games, which incidentally, despite being shitty little mobile free-to-play WWE games, tends to have characters that resemble the actual wrestlers more than this $30, $40 cheaply fuck. cobbled together, microtransaction laden, desperate gravy train hopping joke of a product. The gameplay is rubbish. I mean, it's it's a button masher, but even by many button mashing standards, it's simplistic, repetitive, and overwhelmingly dull. Punches, kicks, some directional grapples, that's more or less it. There's a couple different game types, there's some one-on-one -on -one matches, there's tag and tornado tag, there's a cage match, a royal rumble, but it's not like a proper royal rumble. It just cycles in like, I don't know, like four wrestlers at a time, and none of them have any really like standout animations or entrances like they all drop from crates instead of having full entrances they're all homogenized and lacking in individuality or personality which really is the wwe's wet dream as a corporation the company is intent on turning its talent into little more than walking t-shirt sales it recently stopped them from like making money on twitch or you're basically building their own brands because wwe builds their brands and then fucking owns their brands 100 percent but the presentation of the wrestlers in battlegrounds is what vince mcmahon has dreamt of the wrestlers all behave and act and look the same they all drop from crates rather than have actual entrances they they do drop from boxes from the sky, the wrestlers now are pre-boxed, and when you unlock them, they come out of blister packs like action figures. The wrestlers in WWE 2K Battlegrounds are cheap, generic, factory standard, plastic toys. In short, they are everything WWE wants them to be. And you can feed these ones to alligators or throw them under cars. Some more. This has got to be over. Down for the count. And there. 
here's the one, two, three. So yeah, a lot of button mashing. In fact, uh, when, when you're playing the single player stuff, the, uh, the artificial intelligence is so artificial and indeed so lacking in intelligence that you can just smash one button to win uh, for many of the battles. There's other stuff you can do. You can push a stick in a different direction to do different attacks. How, how exciting is that? Um, I, I would say that all of the wrestlers have their signature movesets, but they don't. You know when the really bad Dynasty Warriors games come out and one of the reasons they're bad is because Omega Force got really fucking lazy and cloned a bunch of movesets so a whole group of characters play exactly the same. Imagine that, but really taking the piss. Characters are separated into four pretty broad character classes and more or less share the majority of moves within a very limited pool. So we get a ridiculous, ridiculous scenario where the fiend Bray Wyatt has the same moves as Mandy Bloody Rose. So you get a whole bunch of characters doing moves and behaving in ways they would never actually do. I mean, seeing Jake the Snake Roberts act like he's one of the fucking Lucha Brothers is quite a sight. And you can almost forgive, uh, you know, these characters behaving in exaggerated, uh, over-athletic ways. I mean, this is a cartoony game in which characters can leap 18 feet into the air and then slam someone down with enough force to shatter all their bones. One expects some liberties taken. But there's taking artistic liberty and then there's just taking liberty with our fucking wallets and churning out something so slapdash that none of the wrestlers actually feel like the wrestlers that they don't look like because they don't look like the wrestlers they're supposed to look like. And that's what we're looking at. That, that, that's what we're staring down the barrel of with WWE 2K Battlegrounds. A WWE WWE game in which the WWE superstars neither look nor feel like the WWE superstars. And to be honest, that's a feat of fucking engineering. That's almost impressive, save for the fact that there's no real longevity to this game, because why get excited about unlocking new characters? Why get excited about continuing to play the game? Everything's just the same. And it's all shite. And in that regard, I can at least say Battlegrounds certainly feels like WWE programming. There is multiplayer. There's this rather pathetic attempt to do a Battle Royale style game. It, it take, I mean, it's not a bad idea. The nucleus of it ain't bad. Take the Royal Rumble format. It's already an elimination style game. And uh, 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 apply video game Battle Royale rules to it. Uh, in practice, it's just as stripped down, restrictive, and samey as everything else. The game only supports four characters active in the ring at once, so anyone waiting to play will be outside, and they could be outside for ages, only able to taunt or punch. And once you get in there, it's just more button mashing, but with other people around you button mashing. Yippee. Without the AI, you have to worry about your moves being reversed a lot more, and you have to worry about reversing moves a lot more, which is just a one-button QTE. If an opponent tries to do a move on you, there's a button prompt, you press it and you'll reverse it, and then it's back to more button mashing, and that's, that's that. That's... <sighs> That's the game. Naturally, because it's 2K Games, there's a ham-fisted, greed-fueled microtransaction element. There are fee-to-pay elements in this $30 game that behaves like a free-to-play game. There are two currencies, your battle bucks and your gold bucks. Because of fucking course. And Battlegrounds is very keen, very quick, very pragmatic to point out that you can unlock everything using battle bucks, which are purely earned in game. So you can use the battle bucks, you don't have to buy the golden bucks, that's the money laundering currency that you spend real money on, and that just unlocks things quicker. Okay, it's just a time saver to skip the grind. And I'm sure there's no grind in this game. I mean, what, you just use the battle bucks to unlock characters characters, right? Yeah. And also unlock cosmetics for those characters. And unlock different cosmetics for original created characters. And unlock other elements for the battleground creation system. You can actually make your own uh, arena, your own venue with your own ring, and, and the things you can add to that also cost battle bucks. As do upgrades for the power-ups that you can equip in the game. If you want to power those up, they cost battle bucks as well. And then there's a whole mode where you take your created character and you fight through a series of challenges. And the, and the created character has its own skill tree, which you can upgrade. 
with battle bucks. So yeah, when you lay it out, these much lauded, generously given battle bucks don't really go all that far, huh? Almost as if the game has been deliberately designed to be as grindy and repetitive and exhausting and exasperating and frustrating as humanly possible in an attempt to beat down the player's patience and guard and tempt them into spending money on these purely up channel gold bucks and that's what video games are now we pay for the privilege of being browbeaten into paying more money what what value what value oh by the way if you do want to spend these hard-earned battle bucks or indeed gold bucks on any of the women wrestlers don't expect to be taking them into the battleground multiplayer mode there's no intergender wrestling in wwe so they've split the rosters and no one's playing with the women characters so for example i may spend all my battle bucks unlocking becky lynch and then i take her into the battle royale to try and play with other people and there's no game it just hangs there forever but if i pick any of the men wrestlers then i can get into a game no problem because the women can only wrestle the women and no one else is playing with the women so i wasted my hard-earned battle bucks on becky lynch and I'm not saying intergender wrestling should happen. I mean, I, I do believe that, yes. I believe strongly in intergender wrestling. The indie wrestling promotions I've worked with have had intergender wrestling, even down in the South. And speaking as someone who doesn't really fit into one of two division categories here, and knowing other wrestlers who don't either, separating wrestlers into the binary men's and women's division, I mean, it doesn't make much sense to me. However, I'm not going to use this video to be a proponent of intergender gender wrestling. All I will say is that WWE 2K Battlegrounds would have been literally a better game if intergender wrestling was available. I mean, seriously, you can only use half the fucking roster in this multiplayer mode. Here's a TV that looks like an apple. I'm adding this note here because while I was rendering the very video you're watching now, I went to have another go uh, on Battlegrounds for no good reason, but in the interest of fairness, I must say I was just able to get into a King of the Battleground, give it its full name, with Alexa Bliss. And then I quit after spending uh, well over a day trying to get into a women's King of the Battleground match. I quit to rush here to add this edit and re-render the video before I published it. So I don't know if I'll be able to ever find a match like that again. Um, so yeah, it's not so much that you can't use half the roster in King of the Battleground mode. It's just you might not be able to use half the roster. It might take you over a day to, to be able to. So, yippee, 10 out of 10. And that's WWE 2K Battlegrounds anyway, load of shite, mate. Kick, punch. Uh, kick, punch. Chop, block. Hard. 